going on people? Welcome back to Curtis Shaw TV, back with another Transfer Talk video. Big up everyone who's been supporting, keep subscribing to the channel. Let me know in the comments what you think after and keep smashing that thumbs up button. Now, today Arsenal are apparently at the front of the queue for French international winger. Yes, you know who it is, Thomas Lamar. Um, we've been linked with him for the whole of this window. The story changed a few times. It looked as if he may go to Tottenham. Then Chelsea apparently were at the front of the queue. Well, it's saying now towards the end of the window, they may get a deal um, done for him to come to Arsenal. Now, apparently Diego Simeone and Atletico Madrid are keen to offload him. Um, they want to put that money towards bringing in a striker. Uh, they're looking for a permanent deal for Thomas Lamar. Arsenal apparently looking at a loan with an option to buy in the summer. And it's saying now that as the window draws to um, its conclusion... That Atletico may take that. Now, they've hired George Mendes, apparently, to broker a deal for Thomas Lamar to get him out the door. Now, George Mendes, of course, is a, one of the biggest agents, if not the biggest agent in the world. Arsenal famously stopped working with him for a long time. But since Raul Sanelli's come in, um, Arsenal worked with him. Apparently, he brokered the Nicolas Pepe deal. And apparently, um, Raul Sanelli has been talking to him again. Now, it's believed that Arsenal may be able to get him on loan with a potential fee of around £40 million in the summer if he was to be successful. Me, personally, I would take Thomas Lamar on loan with an option to buy. The reason being, I've seen a lot of him um, lately. I've been you know, watching videos and checking up on him. And it's interesting because, to me, he looks as if he could play in that number 10 role. Now, I've seen a few times he has played in the 10 role for Atletico Madrid. He's quite short, but he's very quick on the ball. Um, sweet left foot. He's got a good pass, a good shot. Quicker, stronger than Meza Ozil would be in that 10 roll. More energy. Good long-range shot, as I said. And I think Lamar could possibly play it, um, in the 10 roll. Um, can you imagine Martinelli on the left, Aubameyang through the middle, um, Pepe on the right with Lamar in the 10? I think that could definitely work. So it'll be interesting to see what happens with that. Um, the next one, and this one um, is starting to grow momentum now, is uh, Matvienko, um, the young uh, Ukrainian centre-back over there at Shakhtar Donetsk now. He's been, his name came out of nowhere over the past couple of days. We're all sort of playing catch-up on this deal. Um, it's understood Arsenal have offered £4.5 million to take him on loan until the end of a season uh, with an option to buy him for £22 million in the summer. Um, and it's believed that Shakhtar Donetsk are interested in that deal. Um, he will be in the Euros this summer, playing for Ukraine. He's, he's likely to be selected. And the rumours coming out of Ukraine are that this deal could happen. Um, he is a 23-year-old centre-back, plays on the left side of, of defence, can also play at left-back. The one concern I had was that, you know, he's 5'10", 5'11". I did want a big, big centre-back, but, you know... It's not always necessary, and as someone said yesterday, Saliba is over six foot when he joins next season. Uh, Matvienko um, apparently is good on the ball. He played against Manchester City for Shakhtar Donetsk, and apparently Arteta actually spotted him with the possibility to bring him to Manchester City. Obviously, Arteta has now joined Arsenal as manager, and he's looking to do this deal for Arsenal. And it looks as if it could happen, you know, uh, as I said yesterday. Um, the player liked to post from a fan suggesting he was going to join Arsenal in this window. Um, his agent also confirmed that Arsenal are in negotiations with the club Shakhtar Donetsk to sign him. As I've said, haven't seen a great deal of him. Looks good on YouTube, but then again, you know, Marin Shamak looked great on YouTube. So uh, it's not always a great indicator of how good he is. But Arteta and, and Manchester City were looking at him. So let's see what happens with that. Looks like a deal that could potentially happen as I said yesterday um, Bruno Guimaraes the um, Brazilian centre midfielder looks likely to be going to Leon now um, according to L'Equipe um, they are in negotiations they're willing to pay the transfer fee um, up front as Arsenal were looking um, for you know buy now pay later cash generator FC um, so it looks as if that deal won't happen um, Barcelona linked with Bar um, Pierre and Rick Aubameyang as well, but it looks as if any deal there will not happen um, potentially until the summer. But we hope Aubameyang will extend his contract, but certainly Arsenal will not be loaning him out in this window. 
Um, big up everyone for watching. Uh, appreciate all your support and views. Um, check out all my latest videos, as I said. I uh, managed to get Arsenal legend Kevin Campbell on for a good chat the other day. Also, um, AFTV Claude on there as well. And also, um, a very good chat I did at YouTube last week with Deluded Guna. Um, so check out those interviews. Um, shout out everyone supporting. Let me know in the comments. Um, Thomas Lamar, would you take him? Matt Vienko, the young um, Ukrainian centre-back. And uh, Aubameyang being linked with Barcelona. Also, Santi Cazorla yesterday was being linked with Arsenal. Would you take him back? Or, you know, is he past it now? Uh, keep liking, comment, subscribe, and I'll be back tomorrow. Bless.